and I welcome to our channel Jorah Blocks. I'm Josh and today we're gonna unbox C100 Taurus. Uh, previous video we unboxed C160 Eris. So we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna see how it is and we're gonna compare both the chairs after this video. So let's get into the video. Unboxing of C100 Taurus. similar okay this is your backrest this is pretty different from that same registering of warranty you get this and the manual how to fix it I didn't like the finish of this if you see this the color changes in this there's a different type of color here yeah. the weeds are fine but the metal seems a little dirty unfinished product that's how it looks if you could see and here you can see there's kind of a gap here I don't know how far that's gonna be safe Okay, let's see with other stuff. This is the seat itself. Like the previous product, we have all the screws, but uh, if you see, uh, it's dirty. I don't know why do they send the products like this. Here we have the seating mechanism. I think this comes with a lock. Yes. But uh, that one does not come with a lock. C160. Here it is. Okay, let's go start fixing it. And you will find a marking here. There's no marking, so I assume this would be the forward. Yeah. Now it has to go. Alright, so let's start unscrewing it and then fix the screws. This has only one type of Allen screw. For that they had two types, but it's just one type. Better thing it has a washer as well, whereas the other one didn't have a washer. So in terms of build quality, I think this is better compared to 
the Aries. You have washers here, which was not there. You have washers here as well under these screws. So it's going to be more supportive compared to the C160 Aries. Hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna fix this. And make sure you align it properly. First, you can uh, fix the screws with your hand itself. Then later, we can use the wrench to tighten it. You can hear all tapping sound. That's no one else. My mom making biryani for us after this. We're gonna tighten the screws diagonally first. Make it tight as possible. Alright, done tightening it. Tight enough. Loosen the screws, but this is tight. You have three screws on each side, which is for the backrest. Pretty long screw. Alright, so I have removed the screws as well as the washer that you can see this screw is a little bigger in size okay so now let's get the backrest fixed this is how it has to fit so I'm gonna put in the washers and the screw Screws are pretty long as you can see, we have the screws and the washers, we're going to try fixing this. The material is sturdy but only thing that I don't like is uh, the finish, the quality, the finish is not good if you can see. Oh, not that great the finish but quality wise it's sturdy nice hard lot of big screws comparative to C160 okay. I might need help part is really tough okay, so this is how it goes in with the washer and you see you just fix the bottom ones it's very easy now since before that we tried this but it was very hard since we got the bottom ones fixed first it is very easy for us to Put the other screws in. Mm. Luckily, we had this multiple uh, Allen screw, something like a Swiss knife. It is pretty easy from that, just doing this and just getting it tightened. Pretty easy. just that easy comparative to the other one the other one was really hard you know just missing every time you turn you need to take it out that was time consuming
lightness nice if not you go back you're going to fall with the backrest so tighten it as much as possible that I didn't like about this product is finish it's not a good finish product it's good strong uh the screws are better than the previous one the C160 here this I'm slightly disappointed with the finish product that's it Right. So we have this cap here. It goes in like this. And the hydraulics. Just twist it like this to make sure it is tight enough. See? It doesn't come out. We need to twist it. All right. And here we have the cone. Cover your hydraulics. Okay, so make sure you have some space for it to get in there. Don't completely raise it up. And in fact, we didn't even see the manual. The manual is just closed, and just because we fixed another first chair, it was pretty easy for us to. Get with this without any manual. Right. So now we gotta put the chair up. Yeah. For it, you should get a click. Do that. <laughs> Enough. So we're done. So it goes up. I right, push off this button, but the traction is a little hard, but better than the previous one. This, if you see, uh, get a back twist here. This just goes up and down. You cannot adjust. This is uh, just for some look. It doesn't work. Okay. The look is fine. And the best part is this one comes. Uh, you know you can lock your backrest by doing this by pushing it down. You see that? Locked. And you can release it by pulling it up works fine and here you have the hydraulics to move up and down yeah pull up down works fine and uh, the armrest for both are the same hard plastic and i've noticed something else there's a screw missing i don't know what <laughs> you pay money and you get things and they don't do proper quality check and they just send the product but otherwise it's a decent product the harmless uh, the headrest can be raised up and yeah and one more thing your seat is not too big if you are a person who likes a little longer one then C160 Aries is better okay. so we'll do a quick comparison between these two chairs that we have in front of us in the next video 
Aries and C100 Taurus. Okay? So the next video is about the comparison.